some big news big non-news really that has been eh. happening in baseball but it is probably the biggest story right now carlos correa continues Oof. to kind of just be sitting in limbo um obviously the mets sign him but same sort of concerns now with a physical and we're still just all sitting in limbo wondering what's going to happen so let's just break down for a minute what has happened in the last month basically it's all happened in the last month on it was December 14th. Mm -hmm. Correa signed with the Giants. 13 years, $350 million, right? Six days later, press conference canceled. Concerns over a physical. Instead of sitting around, mm -hmm. Scott Boris calls up Steve Cohen. Guess what, Giants? You're out of luck. No more Carlos Correa for you. The New York Mets signed Carlos Correa for 12 years, $315 million. One day later, they send a jet down, send down a plane for Correa to fly up for his physical concerns. Immediate concerns, the same concerns the Giants had. Now, the concern is this right ankle of his that was surgically repaired in 2014. That's what the concern is. That's where we sit now. And ever since that day, since we heard there were concerns, there has not been an official announcement. There has not been many updates. We don't know. We are just all sitting in limbo with what is going to happen with Carlos Correa. It kind of feels like a bad reality TV show where the star, like maybe it's like the dating shows where the star is trying to land a date, land a wife, bachelor. We'll, we'll go Bachelor. Yeah. Yeah. And Carlos That's the biggest Correa one. And is Carlos Correa the is the Bachelor. And no one's accepting his rose. He keeps handing out these roses, and no one is accepting his rose. But it's got to be <laughs> bad, really bad, to be that caliber of a player, know what you're capable of, and have these top teams give you these incredible contracts to only retract after a physical. Yeah. Like, that's a nightmare. It is, it is a nightmare. Yeah. And I don't, like, look. The, the injury that we're talking about is from 2014. He hasn't ever missed in eight plus seasons since then. Hasn't missed a single game due to this ankle injury. Now, what I will say, the human body is fascinating. An injury yeah. here can cause an injury here. That can cause an injury there. And Carlos Correa hasn't been the healthiest player over the course of his career. Mm -hmm. But in the last three seasons, Scott Boris made a point here. In the last three seasons, Carlos Correa has played in 89% of games. Not the best number in the world, certainly not the worst number in the world. So what do you, what do, you do here? I think I have an answer. What? Add in clauses. Add in clauses to the contract. Now it's probably not something that Scott Boris is wanting to love to do. I don't. I don't even know if he'd allow it. I don't know if Carlos Correa would accept it. Well, with the clause, I, then, then the conversation there becomes that. That's probably all you're looking at, pal. If you want a long term deal, if you want twelve years, you're gonna have to give us something. If not, if you don't want to sign it, you're gonna have to turn around and sign a three year deal somewhere. So what do you want? Don't have clauses, okay? Then sign a three year deal. You want clauses? You can have. You can sign your twelve-year, three hundred and fifteen million dollar deal. But it makes all the sense in the world. Just do. If you play in a hundred and thirty or more games a year, your next year's contract kicks in. If not, we have the ability to to void it. I I don't know what else to say at this point. It looks like with his medicals being this bad, you have to understand that the team's going to need something in return. They're not just going to fork over 12 years, $315 million with these concerns. And if you don't like the clauses, then you're going to have to sign a short-term deal. I mean, it's a huge investment. And any investment that is this big, you have to do your due diligence. And you have to know it's going to be a good long-term investment. And if you're looking at a physical... And you're going to see, like, okay, you're fine now, but maybe in five years, I don't know how this ankle is going to hold up. I don't know how your leg is going to hold up. I don't know how if you're overcompensating for an ankle, you might hurt your other leg or your other ankle. There's so many different things that come into this, especially on a $315 million investment on a player. Because that's what Steve Cohen is doing. He is making an investment for the franchise, for their future, in Carlos Correa, and everything needs to check out. If but that's just how it goes yeah, when you're an athlete. I agree. And and with it, the 
fact of the matter is that, that everything does not check out. No. Uh, right? Both teams have flagged this issue. So you really got to you really got to ask yourself the question of like okay, it's probably not realistic for a team to still just say, "You know what? Whatever. We'll we'll still go through with the deal." No. I think there's a couple of things that are realistic. Adding clauses in. Carlos, if you miss X amount of games due to this ankle issue, leg issue, whatever, that it, that roots back to the ankle issue, we have the ability to void the contract. And I think that's fair. And if you don't miss X amount of games, next year kicks in. And Or an alternative is go sign a deal like you did with the Twins. I don't think he wants that. But I is that he why wants- he signed that deal before? Do you think that had anything to do with it? Is there were concerns? We didn't hear about it That's if there were. I- my thought goes, I, I think the the reason we saw that deal is because of COVID and the whole and the lockout and all of the weird stuff going on. Um, so it didn't allow him to get the super long-term deal. But yeah, I mean, we don't know. you never know. But I, I will say this. I Obviously, I, I think the hold up with clauses would be Boris. And and Correa, do they want to do that? Boris has done it before, multiple times in his career. Ivan Rodriguez, Pudge with the Tigers in 2004 and 2005, signed a $40 million deal. Guess what? There were clauses in it. If you miss time with your spine injury, we can void the contract for $5 million. He's done it as well with J.D. Martinez. It is something that Boris has done and I think this is the answer moving forward. Get clauses in the contract saying you have to be on the field. If not, we can void the contract. I, I think that's the only way forward here. I think that's the answer. And I do believe that gets done. Do you believe it will get done with the Mets? Does I do. Carlos Correa, at the start of the season, is he in a Mets uniform or is he somewhere else? I think he's in a Mets uniform. That's my belief. And I also, there was a, a bit of, a, bit, a tidbit on social media today that I really deep dove into, right? Okay. Carlos Correa posted on his Instagram story a picture with his son, Kylo, uh. dressed in a shirt that said, I heart New York. Mm-hmm. Well, the I was a hot dog. The heart was yeah. a pretzel. And the letters in line. But it line. looks like Mets colors. I'm, I'm a Let little me, further away. Yeah, I have I yeah, did yeah, a yeah. deep dive. I'm like, that's, if you, that's if you orange. It's really, orange and blue over there, right? If you really look yeah. at this picture... Yes, Kylo is wearing an I Heart New York shirt. You look on the background on that table, there's Mets blue batting gloves. You look at the you look at his glove. It it's orange. It's a Mets colored glove. It's a bit bigger glove than a shortstop. Looks like a third base glove to me. There's a lot going on here. He probably has orange though from like Astro days too. But he was on a different team. Yeah. Do you throw away your gloves? That's a brand new glove. And he was on the twins last year. I'm I'm not as close to the photo as you are right now, I'm and I'm just saying. playing devil's advocate I'm here. You did, I need mean, a deep creep. I another love a good deep creep. By this time next week, yeah. Carlos Correa is a New York Met official. All right, that's my prediction. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at two one three five three seven nine three three nine with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun. So hit that subscribe button.